Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Does your diet provide the RDA for vitamin B12? In this video, I'll share what is vitamin B12, why is it essential, the US RDA, B12 and pernicious anemia, symptoms of B12 deficiencies, and high B12 foods. B12 is an essential water-soluble vitamin. There are several forms of vitamin B12, all contain the mineral cobalt. Another name for vitamin B12 is cobalamins. Two types active in humans is methylcobalamin and 5 deoxyadenylcobalamin B12 is bound to protein in animal foods. It's released in the stomach by hydrochloric acid and gastric protease. Synthetic B12 in dietary supplements is in its free form and does not require separation. Free vitamin B12 combines with intrinsic factor in the stomach and absorbed from the small intestine into the bloodstream. About 55% of a 1 microgram oral dose is absorbed. Absorption depends on the availability of intrinsic factor. The amount of B12 absorption also depends on other factors like the use of protein pump inhibitors for acid reflux and heartburn. Essential vitamins are vitamins your body can't make that must come from your diet. Your body does not store excess water-soluble vitamins, so your diet must provide enough B12 daily. B12 is required for DNA synthesis, red blood cell formation, neurological functions, and converting homocysteine to methionine. The current U.S. recommended dietary allowance or daily value for vitamin B12 according to the National Institutes of Health varies with age. It ranges from 0.4 micrograms for infants 0 to 6 months up to 2.4 micrograms for anyone 14 and older. Pregnant and lactating women need slightly more. A microgram is one one millionth gram. It takes 1,000 micrograms to equal one milligram. The daily requirement for vitamin B12 is very small. The US RDA has a safety factor to prevent vitamin B12 deficiency. Pernicious anemia is an autoimmune disease that destroys stomach cells producing intrinsic factor. To be absorbed, vitamin B12 must bind to intrinsic factor in your stomach. B12 deficiency occurs when there is little or no intrinsic factor. A deficiency can cause megaloblastic anemia and neurological disorders. Without intrinsic factor, no amount of dietary or supplemental B12 will prevent or cure B12 deficiency. Symptoms of B12 deficiency include fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, constipation, weight loss, megaloblastic anemia, numbness, tingling in hands and feet, depression, confusion, dementia, and mouth or tongue soreness. B12 deficiency is usually treated by injections to bypass potential barriers to absorption. Some medical practices provide B12 injections based on vague symptoms without testing for B12 deficiency. Vague symptoms like brain fog, fatigue, bloating, gas, and forgetfulness. These B12 treatments are usually not covered by private insurance or Medicare. Treating a true B12 deficiency may not require expensive B12 shots. One study of B12 deficiency indicates high doses of oral B12 
2,000 micrograms reduced to 1,000 micrograms may be as effective as B12 shots. It comes down to each individual's ability to absorb B12. Before beginning an expensive series of B12 injections by medical practices marketed through email, mail, or television ads, see your doctor or get tested for B12 deficiency. High dose B12 is available without a prescription and costs far less than B12 shots. When buying B12 supplements, look for the USP or other certification. To be effective, B12 must be released in the stomach to bind with intrinsic factor. Taking high dose B12 supplements is generally safe for most people. Absorption depends on the availability of intrinsic factor. For healthy people, about 10 micrograms to 500 micrograms is absorbed. Buying 5,000 microgram B12 supplements may not provide any more B12 than a 500 microgram supplement. The best source of B12 is your diet. High sources of B12 include meat, poultry, fish, seafood, milk, eggs, fortified foods, and milk products. Plant foods have little or no vitamin B12. Almonds and other tree nuts have zero B12. Pumpkin and other seeds have zero B12. The same for kale and other leafy greens. Fortified breakfast cereals may or may not provide vitamin B12. You need to check the nutrition label. Unless you have pernicious anemia, people eating little or no meat or dairy can still get enough dietary B12. Vegetarians and vegans can get B12 from fortified foods and oral B12 supplements. Here are 20 common high vitamin B12 foods. At number 20 is cooked chicken breast. A 3 ounce serving provides 0.23 micrograms, about 10% of the recommended dietary allowance. Next is chicken eggs. One large egg has 0.35 micrograms. Three ounces of lean cooked ham provides about half microgram. Fortified cereals with 0.6 micrograms per serving provides about 25% of the RDA. Three ounces of cooked turkey breast provides 30% of the RDA at 0.7 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked shrimp has about 0.8 micrograms. One ounce of Swiss and other cheeses provides about 35% of the RDA at 0.85 micrograms. Six ounces of plain yogurt has about one microgram. One cup of low-fat milk provides 50% of the RDA at 1.2 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked squid provides 1.3 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked beef tenderloin has about 1.5 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked cod provides 80% of the RDA at 1.9 micrograms. Three ounces of canned light tuna provides about 90% of the RDA at 2.2 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked lamb provides slightly more at 2.23 micrograms. Three ounces of cooked 80-20 ground beef has about 2.3 micrograms. A three ounce serving of cooked trout provides 160% of the RDA at 3.8 micrograms. The same for three ounces of cooked wild caught sockeye salmon. Three ounces of canned sardines provides over 300% of the RDA at 7.6 micrograms. Coming in at number two, 
Three ounces of cooked clams provides 450% of the RDA at 10.7 micrograms. At number one is cooked beef liver. A three ounce serving provides 70 micrograms or almost 3000% of the RDA. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.